We're inland in Gloucester County. There's about a foot of snow there to clear as well. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is in Williamstown where she spent much of the day. I heard in the fall we were going to have a cold and snowy winter, so I guess this is maybe this is the start of it. Hopefully, it's the end of it. <laughs> Mixed emotion Saturday as the nor'easter meteorologist predicted came true. Honestly, yeah, I was surprised. Should have got it for Christmas. <laughs> that would have been a lot better. Dumping mounds of snow across the region, leaving blankets of white on every surface under the sun. It all just drifted all over. Yeah, it's hard to tell what's what over here. What, I, it is. <laughs> Where's the driveway and where's the grass? <laughs> in Williamstown, Gloucester County, Mother Nature dropped nearly 10 inches of snow with wind chills as low as negative three. I hope this is it, but with Mother Nature, you never know. While no fan of the wintry mix, Tony Torres is making the best of things. Try to make some extra little money for the family, that's all, and help others that can't do it for themselves. He plans to shovel snow for about 15 families before midnight. This lady I just did, Miss Angela, you know, her and her husband, they're a lot older. Her husband has a lot of body issues, he can't really do much. So, um, just hearing that, it, it helps. It, it melts my heart a little bit because I help older, elderly people that can't do it for themselves. And here on this short block, as others dig out on their own. I just basically enjoy the winter and I don't enjoy doing too much of this cleaning off. They're grateful for people who meet them halfway, like John, who Penny says shoveled her sidewalk so she could clear her driveway. This is a very awesome neighborhood. I'm blessed to have this neighborhood and great neighbors like John who did that for me today. Officials are asking that residents stay off the roads if possible so cleanup can continue. In Gloucester County, Jasmine Payute, CBS3 Eyewitness News.